welcome back. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Tina Zink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. And today I'm going to demonstrate card two of three using the Stampin' Blends vellum, um, Stampin' Blends vellum technique. This was the first card uh, that I filmed and in my video for this one, which the link will be in the description below, I show two mo more cards using this technique and today is going to be card number two and I'm so glad that you guys have loved this card and technique. I told you it's a lot of fun and um, yeah, I can't wait uh, to show you today's card and I hope you guys have been having fun with this technique. So let's start stamping. All right, so this is card number two that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. And the card that I make during this video is gonna look different because I'm going to be using different colors. And of course, every time you use this Stampin' Blends uh, vellum technique, you get an entirely different look. Uh, the stamp set that I'm going to be using is our new host stamp set called Better Places. And this is in our uh, annual catalog that is coming out on May 4th from Stampin' Up. So it's a beautiful stamp set. So here's what you do. Uh, the colors I'm going to be using, Dark Old Olive. Uh, this is our new polished pink. This is in the light. This is our new Fresh Freesia. This is in the dark. Our new Pale Papaya. This is also in the dark. So these three are from our new 2021-2023 in colors. And then this is our light Bermuda Bay. So I am going to, uh, let me see, I'm just going to start with my Bermuda Bay. Alright, so there we go. And take some Old Olive. Old Olive is my all-time favorite green. Love Old Olive. Okay. Some polished pink. And some pale papaya. And it's all right if you go over a little bit on those previous colors. I'm just kind of feeling in the gaps. And now some dark, fresh freesia. The um, rubbing alcohol I'm using is 99%. So I'm going to put a little bit in my dish. And to do this technique, you really do need alcohol markers. Our water-based markers won't get the same effect. So let me scoot this down for you guys. There you go. So I'm just going to take my just a regular paintbrush. And I'm just going to splatter it on and let it react with that ink that I've gone on got on the vellum. So I'm just letting this react with the ink, kind of smushing it down. You can see how it's moving around. Looking beautiful. Might not look beautiful yet, but it's definitely going to look beautiful. And I'm going to add some splatters. So I'm just going to Tap that on so I can get some fun splatter marks. And to speed up the drying process, I'm going to use my heat tool. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a piece of white so you can see what this looks like behind it. So you can really see the colors pop out when you put it behind that white, can't you? So pretty. Love it. All right. Now I have a piece of basic white and I am going to adhere the vellum to my white. So to do that, I'm going to use an adhesive sheet. Now if you don't have our adhesive sheets and everything I'm showing you um, is from Stampin' Up! And if you're in Canada and don't have a demonstrator, my link is in the description below. I'd be happy to help you uh, place an order. Otherwise, if you live outside of Canada, just go to stampinup.com and you can find a demonstrator near you. Um, 
but if you want to make this right away and if you don't have adhesive sheets just use your liquid glue and a sponge and lightly sponge on your glue and then you can position your vellum on top but I love our adhesive sheets so that's what I'm going to use so I have trimmed this down to measure the same size as my basic white and the vellum which is eight and a half by five and a half because I'm going to cut those afterwards so I'm just going to peel this off and just put it right onto my cardstock. Ooh, got them both at the same time. And I want to make sure that this is on there really well, so I'm just going to take my bone folder and just burnish it. Okay, use my take your pick tool to peel off the backing. Now I'm going to put this on with the ink side down. So I'm just gonna line it up. And again, just burnish that right on top. You can really see those colors, can't you, with that white behind it. It's so pretty. All right, so I'm going to trim down a piece to measure five and a quarter by four. Okay, so this is my five and a quarter by four piece. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now this piece was left over, of course. So I'm gonna put this in my Stamparatus and just set that in like so and take my stamp and just position this on. Okay, so I'm gonna put my stamp there. And because I'm stamping on top of vellum, I'm going to use my stays on ink. And I'm using the Stamparatus because this image, I want to make sure I get it nice and dark. So of course I can stamp a couple times on top if I need to. All right. Stamp that down. Ooh, that looks pretty good, but I'm gonna do it again. And look, you get all those background colors behind the image, which is beautiful. I'm gonna heat this with the uh, heat tool, just because uh, with the vellum, I wanna make sure that ink really, really dries, and I can see it's a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna heat that, because of course, Vellum paper is a lot different than our cardstock, so the ink doesn't absorb into a vellum like it does with cardstock. It kind of sits on top a little bit. So I am just gonna zap this real quick. And now I'm gonna trim this around all the edges. All cut out and pretty. And then I have these two pieces left over too, so I don't throw anything away. I can definitely use this for another card. Um, I can use these for die cuts with flowers or um, birds like I did on my last card, so nothing goes to waste. Okay, I'm going to use my basic flap for my card base, so I'm going to score my eight and a half uh, buy 11 piece of cardstock in half and then slide it around and cut it at the five and a half mark. So now I have two card bases. So I'm going to set one aside. So I'm just going to glue this onto a piece of um, basic black cardstock and then just trim it so that I have a nice layer behind that. There's my piece for the front of the card. All right, so I'm bringing this piece back in, and what I'm gonna do next is pretty cool. I have my die cutting machine and my painted texture 3D embossing folder, and I am just going to put this piece right inside my embossing folder and run it through. I'm just gonna put that on plate number two, and then my gray plate number four, and run that through. Now I have that beautiful embossing folder um, design 
with that stamp and blend vellum technique on top. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm gonna make this even more beautiful. And I'm gonna take my Versamark ink pad and I'm gonna zoom down for you guys here. So I have my Versamark ink pad and I'm just very lightly, very lightly, just going on top so that some of those raised images are gonna have this ink on it. And I don't want a lot because I don't want to hide all that color. Now I'm taking my heat and stick powder. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. And I have a little bit in the middle which is gonna be covered up with my design. So I'm just gonna take some of that powder off. Okay, so I'm going to heat this with my heat tool because heat and stick powder is basically like a, an adhesive that gets sticky once it's been heated. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to take a piece of computer paper and fold it in half, put that underneath, and I am going to use our gold gilded leafing. And I'm just going to grab a whole chunk and just rub it on. Look at that. So not only do we have that beautiful uh, rubbing alcohol technique on this background, we also have that 3D texture from the embossing folder. And now we have the gorgeous gold as well. Okay, so I'm going to put this carefully back into my container. So this is going to go on my card base. Can you imagine all the different ways you can use this background? Just with little sentiments or you can embellish it however you want. So we're gonna bring this back in. I'm gonna put that on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Always sad to cover up some of the background, isn't it? For this sentiment, I am bringing in another gorgeous new stamp set. Um, this is part of our Beauty of the Earth suite. And I am going to pull in this beautiful verse that reads, Friendships Refresh the Soul. Isn't that lovely? But I just want to use the word friend. I love that script. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm pulling in my black piece here and just using the embossing buddy on top. And... I'm going to stamp this with my Versamark and emboss it with white. And now I'm going to cut this out. And I'm just going to kind of go around this whole word here. I'm gonna set that aside because I can cut this out and use it on a scrapbook page or in another card. Just refresh the soul. Maybe I might do a scrapbook page where I'm at the beach or have my dogs down at our little creek or something. So I can totally do that. But I'm just gonna snip off friends. I could just use friend. Mm, I will just use friend. So I'm gonna cut off that S. And then I'm just going to kind of cut around the letters. Then in the Better Places set, I have leaves here that I've already gone and embossed in gold. So I'm going to cut one of those out next.
Okay, so I've just put my glue on this and I'm just gonna tuck it on just like that. So this is gonna pull some of that gold out that's behind this onto the front, which I really like. And then I'm gonna cut a little piece of uh, dimensionals and put them behind my friend. And then the last thing I'm going to do to the card is I'm going to take some of my clear wink of Stella and just add some to the stamped image. Just so I get a little bit of that extra sparkle. And there is the finished card. So I have that gorgeous uh, stamp and blend vellum technique going on behind it. And behind the stamped piece, I have the texture from the embossing folder. I have the gold on there. Really, really love how that turned out. And then my original one using the exact same card layout, just different Stampin' Blend markers. So this is another fun, fun way to use our Stampin' Blends and our vellum with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. In my previous video, I shared how to, how I created this card using exactly the same technique. And in my third and last video that I'll have for you in the next few days, I'm going to show you another way you can use our Stampin' Blends and Vellum with some stamps to create a really, really neat background and a beautiful card. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, please, if you haven't already. And I hope you have a great day. Stay well and happy stamping.